Today I'm going to show you how to add plots to your C programs really easily using GNU plot. And you can add right into the C code your GNU pipeline and it's a, just a matter of writing to a file to get these really cool plots. So you can download here and here's some examples of the nifty type of plots you can do. Surfaces, hidden surfaces, lines, more surfaces, geo, polar coordinates, all kinds of stuff. So here we go. Uh, let me run it real fast to show you what it does. So right now my C program is running. Each iteration when it steps down here is training a neural network and I wanted to train the learning versus iterations to train the learning rate versus the iterations. So as you can tell it's updating as the code is running. Um, there's a couple options. This is the QT option of the window. I'll go into this later. And it allows you to zoom in. Uh, you can somehow you can zoom in and you can go back to normal. I think you right click with your mouse or oh, hit the control and the scroll wheel. Let's you zoom in with the QT option. Um, if you mess up, you just go back to here. The QT option lets you change the background color, stuff like that. So anyway, let me go through the code here. One thing I haven't figured out is how to easily shut this down. When I shut down this window, uh, it takes a while. However, this window is persistent, and I'll show you what that means later. So for now, here's my main program. So what you do is you create two file pointers, a GNU pipe, GNU pipe, and the data TXT, that's just a file on the disk. You first install GNU on your system at that website I showed at the beginning. And you'd have to do an underscore P open, and you open the GNU executable with this persist. The persist keeps the window open after the command window shuts down. And you also have to open a text file that we're going to dump all our data in. And it's going to accumulate data into this text file. And each time GNU plot gets a, a chance to plot, it's going to plot the accumulated data. Now, if you if you run uh, F open, you'll get a compiler warning that says you should use F open underscore S. The problem with that is the GNU plot can't get the data because the flushes don't work. I can't get them to work on this F open underscore S. Not sure why. So just use F open and you have to use this pound define to get rid of the compiler error because it really complains that this is not secure. So put this at the top of your file and use F open. I've been through a lot of tutorials on the web and none of them get everything right for what I wanted to do. This one gets everything right. Okay, so uh, open your GNU pipe. Uh, after that, you have to set up the GNU plot. So this sets up the terminal uh, alluded to QT earlier, and this is the persist that lets you keep your window open even after the, the um, initial console, you close it out. Um, you can use WXT here. It lets you resize this window while you're dragging, which is kind of cool. Like here, it doesn't resize till you let go. Oh, and when it's persisting like this, uh, it doesn't even update the size. It doesn't scale right. Uh, but I'll, I'll compile the other version and show you what that means. Um, so just set the term terminal QT or WXT and then you have to set the title of the, of the plot that just goes right here and here's my workload I'm iterating through for loop and here's my workload right here I'm inputting a learning rate and getting out a number of iterations it took to train this network neural network 
So I stuff that data very easily into a text file using the file printf. Here's the text file we opened up here. And x and y. And then we have to flush this data so that the GNU pipe can get the most avail the most recent data. That's one thing that a lot of the tutorials skipped. They just did it once and plotted the stuff at the end of their program run, but I wanted to watch it as it progressed. The next thing you do is you file print to the GNU pipe and you tell it, hey, I'm going to plot this data that's in my text data.txt file. I'm going to use 1, 2, which means y over your y data is coming in on channel 2 right here and your x data is here, so 1 and 2. And I wanted lines with a width of 8, so line width 8. Another trick I learned that wasn't anywhere on the web is if you don't flush, you're never going to see your window at all until the very end of the program when the program quits. And one thing you can do before the program quits is you can call this and it will also show your data to the, to the window, the plot window, but it'll block the rest of your C program from running until you close that window, which kind of defeats the purpose of a real-time data visualization as it's running. So the trick here was don't actually call this until the very end if you want. I mean, I'm pretty sure the system cleans up after itself. Uh, the other trick, be sure to flush. So you saw QT. Now let's look at W or WXT. Compile this and run. So now my program's running. This one has a different background. You can't set the background color. But it scales as you drag, which is kind of cool. Um, and maybe this is the one when you scroll, click, and then scroll. Yeah, there you go. This one zooms in a lot better. If you left click where you want to center and then hit your control key and then use the mouse wheel. So left click, mouse wheel control, it'll zoom into whatever you want. You can go back to the auto scale here. Um, and there's a lot of other auto settings. You can turn off grid lines, kind of hard to see. You can also use a keyboard. You can use a keyboard to do other stuff. Like all I know is the B key takes the border off, but there's all kinds of keys that you can do while the system's running. And so there you go. I'm sure I'll have fun training neural networks with all different kinds of graphs. Um, I'll go back to the... Oh, one thing is, the other weird thing, um, <laughs> you can't Alt-Tab, I haven't figured out how, to Alt-Tab to another window without this thing getting focus all the time. So, so like, if I'm here trying to look at this, the window always grabs the focus. And I haven't figured that part out yet. Uh, maybe I'll add a comment if I figure it out into this video. So I hope that helps. Um, can't close the window to close my <laughs> close my recording software. So it takes a while to close this stuff too. There, I just closed it. And now I can go over to my recording software and click stop.